Good. Are we all live? Hello, 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 everyone. Okay, Tanner. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Don't be stealing his intro, okay? What were we talking about? What was my intro? We make up intros the other day. Something about you go, you're about to learn. Oh, learn. my name's Alicia, and you're going to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> and you are. Yes, for um, sure. We are doing a fun vertical lean-to project with you yes. guys today. It's yes. so cute. It's part of our release that we released this morning. Yes, yeah. brand new yeah. to everyone. Yeah. You, us, every, everybody. Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah. Actually, I thought I'd seen all the files and then um, like 10 minutes ago, I was just skimming through and I was like, There's always no. more. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. like never ending. Yeah. So we've got new files for you guys, new fonts for y'all. Yes. I'm gonna show you how to find them on our website. Yes. And we're also gonna make a lean to sign using the new files, yes. which I'm obsessed with, even though it's a little early for the 4th of July. Hey, that's okay. We got to prepare now. Yes. Not later. We want to do it now. Yeah. And also, if my microphone sounds weird, tell me. Because <laughs> I feel like we've been like finagling my uh, microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Finagle is Caitlin's word, but I stole it for myself. Yeah. What's everybody saying? I, we Before we even hopped on, there was like 40 something I think there people. was like 46-ish. Yeah. Telling us where you're from. How many do we have with us right now? Oh, good deal. 121. 121. That's We're great. We're famous. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, listen, I'm going to text Courtney real quick okay. and remind her about some paint that we forgot to bring in here. Yeah. So, I thought I was prepared. Oh, and okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, do we want to go ahead and like slide on over to the craft table? Your show today. You tell me what you want to do. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So, this is, um, if you can see... This is our project. I'm going to hold it up, actually, because we've got it so you can kind of see it. Can you see that in the thing? Okay. I just want you guys to be able to see. This is literally, I don't know, I'm 5'7", so this is pretty tall. Um, but this is one of our new March files that we're going to be doing. I'm obsessed with this. Yes. And I love 4th yes. of July decor, like, just anyway, so this makes me really happy. Thank you so much for the white paint. <laughs> um... But yeah, we're going to be doing a lean-to sign. All of these files can be like snipped apart and you can kind of use them for different projects. Um, but we did multiple lean-to specific files. So when I say lean-to, I'm talking about the tall, the big tall boards. Kind of like, um, I would say it's more like a, uh, a door, not less, not necessarily like a door hanger, but what is those like? Just the you sit it like beside, beside, your, beside door. your door. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And they're really cute because you can see them from the road. They're usually really bold, and all of these designs are super bold, yes. so you're able to like see them from the road. Yes. Um, but basically, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go. Let me show you all of the supplies, and you can actually stay at camera one for the beginning of it because a lot of my supplies are gigantic. So this is the sign. This is the board we're going to be using. This is Hobby Lobby. And I think this is their spring collection or spring shop. So it was $29.99. I think it was got, like 30 or 40% off. Wasn't yeah, it? it probably was 40% yeah. off. So yeah. like $17, $18. Yeah. I'm not good at math, but you, you know, you get the picture. Yeah. And then there's also a little hanger. So like if you wanted to hang it, you could. I do. Like at my house, I have a little like nail. Uh, um, kind of like an offset beside my yeah. door, so I think this. Oh, would so look you really can just cute. hang them up. Yeah, so like I can lean them or I can just hang them either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love that. A porch sign. What a simple porch sign. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like uh, obviously that's that. what it's called. Thank Sue. you, Sue Spencer. Thank you, Sue. Yes, always looking out for us. So you're gonna need a sign. It doesn't have to be the lean to sign, um, but these are laid out in like a tall, skinny format. So you know, that's what we're going to be doing today. And then I am using a 12 by 12 mat as well as a 24 inch mat. Now, if you don't have these, you can get them. Cricut makes these 24 inch mats. And I use these all the time because I like to make really big things. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to be breaking up this uh, stencil. Oh, my thing went away. I guess we're not using it right now, but um, I'm breaking up my stencil. So some of them are a little bit longer than 12 inches. Some of them are closer to like 14 inches. Um, so you're going to need that. But honestly, like even if you didn't have that 24 inch mat, you could technically like that sign, oh, yeah. I'm looking at the sign, but you could do that like 
word by word. Yeah. You know, not necessarily letter by letter, but mm -hmm. like word by word for sure. Yeah, and even like very easily you could break up just, just like the happy fourth of July. Oh, yeah. You could put that on a smaller sign if you wanted to. Yeah, that's three different like you can make that three different signs in one. It, literally. Yeah. It would be so cute as a little trio. Yes. I love that. That's yes. a good idea. Um so these are our stencils and like I was saying, we kind of broke everything up. It's just easier to paint, to cut, to lay out. These are all of the stencils we're gonna be using for it. Um, same file, just I'll show you guys how I slice it up. And if you're an experienced Cricut person, you probably already know how to do that, but I'm gonna show you anyways. And then um, we can go overhead, Sadie. I've got a heat gun. This is just gonna kind of uh, speed up the process. Laura wants to know what size the sign is. 12 by 48. I think so. Let me check the back, but I'm like pretty sure. Um, Natalie, yes. she said that she would love to make a Halloween porch sign. Okay, well, if you're not a member, you need to become one, of course. Let us look um, you up, Natalie. Right now, um, <laughs> we're using the code MAKE for mm -hmm. $30 off, I yes, believe. $30 yes, $30 off. Um, for our membership. But we just released a Halloween sign just like this um, almost yes. today. It's um, so, so cute. Yes. And I'm going to show you guys those. So you're going to be able to see all of the designs. Kinda a, yeah, kind of get a sneak peek. Yeah. Most definitely need to sign up for what we've like, got going on. If you weren't persuaded by now, like, you're going to be persuaded yes. by the end of the video because yes. they're so cute. Okay, so um, if we're overhead, I'm going to show you guys the paint. If you have been to a live with me before and I'm painting a sign, I'm using chalk paint. And I just recently was introduced to StarCraft chalk paint. And let me just tell you. It's the best. It really is the best. Like, uh, I, I'm an yes. avid sign maker. StarCraft chalk paint is like <laughs> it's where like it's at. The bomb.com. It really is like my favorite. So we're going to be using red, navy, and gray. And then this is going to be our little tricky trickster. This is our little stencil hack. This is like going to change the game for you. If you make signs and you have a lot of bleeding um, under your stencils, I'm going to show you guys a trick that's going to literally change the game for you. It, I mean, I feel like from far away, the sign looks like it could be vinyl, but it's not vinyl. It's all paint. Like, there's no vinyl on it at all. We just right. used a stencil. Um, we have a couple people asking um, where we could get the long signs from. We Hobblobs. got ours from Hobby Lobby, but mm -hmm. we also had another lady say that she doesn't have a Hobby Lobby near her. Okay. Um, would Michael's work? Yes. I do believe that it would. Um, but Joanne's. if not, yes, I was going to, that's what I was getting ready to say. Like mm -hmm. a, any kind of like craft store and even like Walmart, maybe, you know, yes. it may not be blank technically, mm -hmm. but like they the sell blanks at Walmart. Yeah. I was going to say, but yeah. even like the technique that you're about to show them, they might not even have to get a blank. Yes. You know? Yeah. So. You can paint over stuff and yeah. then like make new signs and listen. I'm in a couple of Facebook groups um, where when the Hobby Lobby signs go on 90% off, they go. They go and just do everything. Wrap up. Yeah, yes. they'll go and buy the signs and they'll paint over them and literally reuse them because one, wood is like ridiculously expensive right now. If you build things or if you built a house recently or anything like that, yes. you know wood is like outrageous. outrageous. It's crazy. It's like triple what it was a year ago. Um, Michelle said she became a yearly mo uh, yearly yay. member two nights ago. Yay, Michelle. Thank welcome, you. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Yes, that's exciting. Okay, so what else? Okay, we're overhead. You're going to need tape. You're going to need some, like, plates if you want. I'm kind of like a dipper. Like, I just dip into the paint thing. But if you don't want to do that, you can get plates. Um, I've got multiple brushes. These are my favorite. If you ever are curious, I feel like when you go to the paintbrush aisle, there's like literally a thousand options. Horsehair, which is like this, usually it's this orange hair. Um, these are the best brushes that I like to use. Um, any horsehair brush, there's a lot at Hobby Lobby that have blue handles. Those are bomb. These are amazing too. This is the flat 50557. I don't even know what brand this is, but like, 
Google. Uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I think we just got those in a pack off Amazon. Yes. Like literally type in paintbrushes. <laughs> and it's like up. the first one to pop up. Hey, we're, yeah. I honestly think they sell these at Walmart because I used them here for the first time a couple months ago and now I'm hooked and now I have like a thousand at my house. Yes. And then um, gloves. Courtney and said she's getting her membership after she gets paid tomorrow. So exciting. Yes, Yay. We Courtney. We cannot wait to welcome you. We love that. Yes. We love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, Sandra made a good point. Lowe's okay. or Home Depot can cut for you. Let's yes, see. they can for the signs. Yes, for the signs. Just, and I guess just kind of go with whatever's cheaper. If that's yeah. what you want to do, especially if you're kind of making these to sell. Yeah. You could easily, how much do you think you could sell this sign for? Oh, like. A solid sixty. Ah, uh, that's. What I was thinking like fifty-five to sixty bucks. I would buy that. I, I would, would buy too. it for that. I mean, I, I would. would. Too. I would. Okay, Barbara. This is my second year and really first time I've been watching the YouTube classes. Wow. Well, come back and join. Us. It's like a whole new world. Yes, how many do we have with us? One seventy-seven. We have oh 177 my gosh. Seven people. That's Love great. It. Okay, so this is the stain we used for the backer. So. It looks like raw, it looks like an off-white, but this is antique white Verithane wood stain. It dries super fast. This Verithane stain is amazing. Um, men wax would also work good. I'm pretty sure that they make an antique white, um, but this is what we use for ours. And then I'm gonna show you guys what we used for our paint mask or our stencil. I'll call it a stencil that way you guys don't get, get confused. This is the vinyl. So this is stencil vinyl um, or paint mask. It's called paint mask a lot. Um, you can get this at 143 vinyl and I think we've got it linked for you guys. Um, they have a mint green that I also am obsessed with. It's the color doesn't matter because we're like literally destroying it's, it. Yeah, it's literally going to get painted. Yeah, over. like we're destroying it. But, but the tack is different, like the yes. stickiness. So the yellow is a little bit more sticky than the mint. And when you're working, um, you can go up. What is, is this camera? This is one, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm always like, you can go up in front of me. Um, if you're doing like a wood project, when you start working with wood, your stencil is going to matter. Like your stencil tack is going to matter. So this is a little bit more sticky than the mint that we have. I love the mint for wood projects. The reason I like it less tacky is because if you get, if you use like a permanent vinyl as a stencil and you pull it up, it's going to pull up your wood grain and then it's going to destroy the painting, like the base layer, if that makes sense. Um, so you just want to get like a less tacky um, stencil vinyl. 143 vinyl has a ton of options. This and th they have this one and then the mint one and then an amazing masking tape that they have. I think it's Sisser or... Sister Easy Weed? Yeah, this is the Sister Easy Weed. Yes. This stuff is also amazing. I love, love, love this stuff. So um, those are all 143 vinyl. That's where you can get all of those. So I guess I'm going to, let me clear off the space because this sign is gigantic. And then we will just start painting. I've already done the base um, because it just takes, like if you've used stain before, you know, it kind of takes a while to dry, which the stain we use dries in an hour, so it's not like anything crazy, but we only have an right. hour, you know what yeah. I mean? So, actually, should we go to design space first? And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna sit these here. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to find these files and walk you through that. And then I'm gonna show you how to actually um, break them apart once we get into design space. So look, let's hop over on here. And we're gonna go, I've got it pulled up, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to our website and show you guys where all these files are. So, let's see, what's everybody saying? This is I, my, I have to get me some of that stencil vinyl. Yes, you do. Yes, yes I yes, love it. And when you find a good stencil vinyl, it's really hard to like switch. I feel like yeah. you find your favorite. Michelle? And this is her very first live. She said she's late with a sad face, but that's okay. Better late than never. Yeah, yeah. and we're recorded, so yes, you, can you can most come certainly back. go back and rewatch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So this is the Makers Gonna Learn website. Once you're logged in, you can. This is like our homepage. So what you're gonna do? We've got a couple of announcements right here. This is really fun. These are all our releases this month. If you didn't hear, it's National Craft Month. So we're like really like pumped over here. We're doing a lot of things, yes. lots of releases this month. We um, gave like 
Okay, so the very first day of National Craft month uh -huh. was March 1st and I think Tanner gave away like three different things yeah like an Amazon gift card a cricket a cricket and then maker cricket. wasn't yeah. it yeah um and I think. then I think it was a maker yeah. was an explorer three I don't know anyways but, but yeah we're giving away lots of stuff yeah love it and then so okay so this is the website so we're gonna go to cut files we're gonna go here first this is gonna take us to our newest collection right here this is where we're going take me there i love that i didn't realize that's what the link said take me there <laughs> <laughs> okay so here is all of the new svg png files love it are you guys seeing things that you love this is like our little sneak peek which stencil vinyl is best for working on glass and metal I want to say um, the yellow that we're using today, the stickier, because it's so slick, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is all the stuff. Look at these terrazzo. I'm obsessed. Yes. I'm obsessed. Look, more than one page. Are you kidding me? And you can see all these little skinny rectangles. Those oh, are those all. The sign. Yes, mm -hmm. those are the signs. Those are the signs. That's your sign. I don't know why our internet's not loading very good. Um, but I think ours is right here. This is the one we're going to be using today. I don't know why our internet's not loading. Um, but we have a couple pages of those, and then let's go over to fonts if the internet will load. We'll see. What's everybody saying? Oh, Cricut Explorer is what they gave away. Okay, yes. That and then um, a mini easy press. Yes, yes, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see. Okay, uh, for some reason it's not wanting to load. I don't know. The second page? Yeah, it won't load the second page and it won't load our font page. I think it's just the internet being weird. But I'm going to go ahead and download this and we'll come back. Y'all remind me if I don't show you those fonts, remind me and I will come back. Um, but we're going to go ahead and download the 4th of July. And we're going to open it up over here. If you haven't unzipped your file, go ahead and do that. And then there's our SVG. And then here's our PNG. We're going to be using the SVG because we're cutting. If you're cutting, SVG. If you're printing and cutting, um, PNG. So you could break this part and do like stickers or, I don't know, get creative. Do whatever your heart desires. Um, so we've opened those up. And... Let's see, I've been using all Cricut vinyls. What is 143? 143, it, they sell vinyl. So you don't have to just use Cricut vinyl. You can go, it's 143vinyl.com, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's it. That's the What's website, yeah. yeah. You can Google it and it'll probably pop up their website. Okay, so we're I gonna- I wanna say in our link below, in our description, we should it's have linked. that link yes, it is. to 143vinyl.com. Yes. So yeah. Be sure to check that out. Yes, you are correct. Okay, Sue so says to refresh my page. Let's oh, try that. That would be smart. <laughs> we didn't think about it. Well, that. it's just ro it's just loading, loading, loading. We'll try it one more time. Next page. Oh, girl, you see, I should have just refreshed it. Okay. So, and then these are the other PNG SVG files that we just released today. These yes. just, they're brand, brand spanking new. We have not used them on anything. So I would love, if you guys become a member, we've got a Facebook group where people post their projects. So if you're already a member and you decide to make a project with one of these new files, please, please post a picture. Put it in our we Facebook love group. to yes, see it. I do. love to I see it. Because everybody's so different. Like everyone's projects come out so different and I love it. And then here is our font, and you can just go to new, and that'll show you all of our releases from today as well. And I think there's 16 new fonts, which is insane. If you buy fonts, then you know, like, that's already a good deal. And we have, what, thousands? We have Literally thousands. <laughs> yeah, we've got, like, thousands of fonts. So these are all new fonts thousands right here. Thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts. That's what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's so totally much. worth it for yeah, sure. So much. And then... I don't know, like all these, there's so many different options. I love this one, Lover Lane, love that a lot. Okay, so you guys have gotten a sneak peek. That's everything that we released today. There's lots of stuff. Um, and not that's not all you have access to as a member. I mean, you can go on all over that website. There's tons of things to look at. 
So we're over in Design Space. I've already got this pulled up, but I'm gonna show you guys how to pull it up. So we're gonna upload our image. We'll go to upload. We're gonna go to browse. And this is just gonna pull up our computer files. And since we just downloaded it, it's gonna be in our downloads right here. We're gonna click on this and you're gonna have a PNG and an SVG. We want the SVG because we are cutting. So SVG, I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Don't need to click anything here. We're just gonna select mm. upload. What? <laughs> okay, and then here's our image and we're gonna add it to Canvas down here. You guys can get a little sneak peek at stuff we're already working on. And then we're going to resize this. So our sign is 12 by 48. Everyone's loving the fonts, I can see them. The Jiggly font is so cute, it really is. Okay, so our sign width-wise is 12. And I think I actually made it 11 because there's a border. So, and I don't know if Hobby Lobby measures from the outside of the border. Or, or the inside, right. Yeah, I yeah. would assume they measure the outside of the border, if I had yes. a guess. Um, so we're gonna give ourselves like an allowance all the way around and you could even go to 10 if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna let that automatically go to 45 point whatever. Um, if we unlocked it, you could alternate, you could like change that number if we click this little unlock button right here. We don't wanna do that though because it's gonna make your letters kind of smush and like warp and it's gonna look weird. And from a, like a design aspect, you just don't wanna do that. It's not gonna look great. So I'm gonna hide all of this from, I just wanna hide everything and we're just gonna start from the beginning. So we've uploaded our file, we resized it to 11 by 45. And then I just wanna show you guys what happens if we don't separate some of this. So if you go to make it, you're gonna select on mat. So this is fine, like we've got this on a 12 by 12, we've got this one on the 24 inch, because I think it goes a little past 14 inches. And then this one just goes barely past 12. So you're gonna need the 24 inch mat for those. And then right here is where I'm gonna show you guys how to slice the stars out so that you're not having to print up here and then down here. You can do that if you want to. Would you separate them or did you just cut it all at once? Either, I think either would be fine. I like honestly. to just cut. I mean, I feel like if you did do it that way, it to me, it's going to be easier to slice them yeah. um, like you're going to. Yeah. But I think if you did do it like this, then, um, you know, you could just, instead of putting that whole sheet of vinyl there, yeah. you could just do maybe, like what is that, here. like two or three inches? Yeah. It's um, literally like two and a quarter yeah. inch. So whatever is easiest. Yeah, whatever is easier for you. We're going to show you our technique. Yes. And also this is good to know, like, if you want to separate the sections out and do like a trio sign, if you wanted to do like right. three individual yes. signs, it's good yes. to just know how to do this. Right. So it's kind of hard to tell, but this red, this red, and this red, they're like different shades of red, if that makes sense. So like they're separated on the mats, right. basically. Um, but the blue is the same color, so it's going onto the same mat. So we're gonna ungroup all of that, and these are gonna stay together. But I want them to be right beside each other. That way when we pull it, when we go to make it, they cut right beside each other. Mm -hmm. So all I'm gonna do is go to shapes and pick a square, and I'm going to unlock it, and then I'm gonna pull it right here, and I'm gonna, cover this entire little star area, okay? And then I'm gonna click and drag to select the stars and the square, and then slice. And then what you're gonna do is move all this out, and looky there, your stars are gonna be cut right beside together. each other. Yeah, That's we awesome. love it, better together. Let's yes. take those off. So, what you're gonna do next is go to make it, and we're gonna select on mat. And then down here, your stars are on a 12 inch mat. Together. Together. Great, yep. great, great. Easy little, easy little hack. And not only that, but these are separate now. We love that. So like if you wanted to do a trio sign, you could do this. That, or if you only wanted like one, like if you wanted yeah, something look. to just say like, happy 4th of July, yes, Period, perfect. sis, that's yes. cute. And then like, if you wanted to do three and you wanted to have stars on all three. Just duplicate and go. 
That's cute. I love it. I love it. So we don't need that extra set. Um, but in design space, it doesn't matter where you place these. Whenever you go to make it, it's going to automatically put them on the mats for you. So we're just going to go into over here. And I have already cut these. Um, but if you haven't cut them, you would go ahead, put your vinyl, your stencil vinyl on the mat, and then you would just run it through your Cricut and... With stencil vinyl, um, you do not have to put that shiny side down like you do HTV as nope. well. Yep. We use stencil vinyl, like your stencil vinyl is just like normal, um, sticker vinyl. Yes. So, so you would just put it the white side down. Right. Yeah. You yeah. would put the white side down. Um, you don't need to mirror it. Like none of that fancy stuff that you would do right. with HTV. You just literally just cut stick it, it through on the your mat and go. Yes. And I'm trying to think. Um, there's no. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, there's a stencil vinyl setting. Like when you cut, you can literally type in stencil vinyl, and it'll cut through exactly. You know, at the exact depth, I guess. Yeah, that okay. You need it. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my sign set up. I'm not gonna cut this, but if you were, you would just hit continue. And then, you know, finish the project. So we're going to cancel that. And I guess we can go to camera one. And I'm going to move this stuff over. Are we missing any comments? I'm really bad about reading. No mirroring these two. Don't mirror them. We don't want to mirror them. Just do it regular. Okay. So, actually, this sign is so big. Can you see it overhead? Like, how much can you see overhead if we do it that way? You, should I scoot it and just start from the top? No, I can do that. I can do that for sure. And I've already um, painted my border and stained my backer, if you missed that part, if you just hopped into the live. So I'm going to scoot this, and we're going to start at the top and work our way down. So can you see the top edge, Sadie? Good. Okay, if I'm out of frame, just tell me because I have no idea. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the land of the free, which is right here. And I'm just going to lay these in here. And it's a little bit wide, so you can just take scissors and kind of trim. Obviously, I only <laughs> brought these teeny tiny scissors. <laughs> it's It'll fine, work. everybody, okay? It'll work. These They'll scissors work. are actually really... They work really good. They yes. really do. They're tiny and mighty is what I would like to say. So I'm going to cut um, this. Carol asked, does the um, file have a border around it so that the stencil will be centered for cutting? No, no. but you can add a border. But I was going to, yes, that's what I was getting ready to say. Yes. They do not come with a border, but you could add one in. Um, yes. Now, I don't know. I don't know how it would work because it's so tall. You know I think if saying? anything, you could just do... Um, like Tanner's technique, you know, how you add in your shape as yes. your uh, background. Yeah. I think if you just did that, then you could see kind of in help design you space um, your borders to line up everything that way. I think yes. that that would help more than anything. Yes. And um, the more that I'm with you guys in lives, the more you'll know that I'm an eyeballer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm terrible for that. I just feel like... When I measure things, I mess up, and if I eyeball it, I can see, like, oh, that looks good, regardless of if it's perfectly centered. You know what I'm saying? I know that's bad, but that's just how it is. That's just who I am. Someone asked if the stencils are uh, reusable. Um, not these. These are not reusable, but if you use Mylar, they are. I think we have a video on uh, reusable Mylar stencils on our channel. Um, but these are not. These just go in the trash after. And you'll see because we literally ruin them. <laughs> we paint we paint all over them. The cutest little scissors. Mommy cares. What are we doing today? We're making a lean-to porch sign. And we're obsessed. Okay. What I'm going to do first is lay everything out. So I just like to see like what I'm working with. Make sure I have enough space for everything. Sometimes I accidentally resize things the wrong way. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this heat gun down here because it's kind of like in the way. So I like to put my top piece and then I'm going to slide this down and do my bottom piece. And this is a little big too. I need to trim these. Um, the reason I do that is because I want to make sure everything is kind of centered. 
and snug. Like and snug, yes. Well, like it goes snug, from the top to the snug bottom. Snug is a very good word we could use here because we're kind of like fitting it into something. You yes. Know? Yeah. That's a great way to put it. Let me cut off all this excess. So are you, do you feel like you're a sign maker? You were saying you like t-shirts. I do like t-shirts. I like designing t-shirts. Yes. Um, I like designing I like, signs. I like making sun. Uh, truly, I'm kind of like a jack of all trades. You are. I mean, I feel like once you're like in the group of something, you're good to go, you know? Yes, I agree. Okay, so this one is a little bit, I don't know why my Y is a little bit big, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep going. Um, but this is why you wanna lay your stencil out before you start just in case of something like that. And actually, I've reprinted this out there. I'll go grab it here in a minute. You want me to go grab it real quick? Yeah, yeah, it's just sitting right right outside okay. on that little lot thing. Can you see here? Good, okay. So this is a little bit wide, but I think I have another one that I cut that's a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put these stars right here. And then we can plug this guy in right in the middle. And so you can kind of eyeball how much space is there, or if you want to measure it, uh, go for it. Go. I just like, oh, thank you so much. Okay, I feel like this one's much smaller. I oh, think you reprinted like be. Land of the Brave too because of that issue, but if it fits, it then fits. It sits. Oh, that's weird. If isn't it fits, it? it sits. If it fits, it sits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so perfect. So this is kind of what we're working with here, okay? We're about to get to the good part. I hope y'all are ready. Oh, Sue, I have mylar, but it's not sticky. Tape it down, Sue. Tape it down. Kathy Hall, love y'all accent. <laughs> Everybody says that, yes. which is so funny. I feel like Lauren has an accent, but I don't ever see if anyone says anything about her accent. She country too. We're all a little country around here. Okay, so let me move all this. This sign is just so big. I'm gonna go, Sadie, guide me. Can you see it? Good, we're in frame, okay. So I'm gonna leave everything laid out, and what I'm gonna do is section at a time. Um, what we'll do first is start up here, and with these stencils, you're gonna peel off the white backer. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Just like you would regular vinyl. Yeah. Like just, I mean, identical to regular vinyl. Honestly, if you didn't know the difference, you would think this you is just like- You probably just not know. Yeah, wow. you just wouldn't know. And then we're just gonna peel that off. Be really careful when you're doing words. This happens a lot. Be very careful when you're peeling off. If you don't burnish it, burnish? Burnish. burnish. <laughs> I don't know why I wanna say varnish sometimes. Cause we're country as Bur cornbread. <laughs> probably, probably. So if you don't burnish it correctly, the letters will try to stick to your backer. Um, we do not want that. And I obviously did a bad job because it's wanting to stick, which is fine. We'll just keep going. And then I love the fonts on this sign so much. I do too, they're really cute. They are really cute. Okay. Now, I'm not trying to say this to scare you, but once this thing's down. It's down. She's down. If you pull it up again, it's probably not gonna it's not gonna be good. You're probably gonna have to recut your stencil. So just kind of hover over it. I like to refer to it like a golf swing, you know, like you swing, swing, yes. and then you hit the ball and when you're you ready. Yes. We're gonna swing, swing, and then lay the stencil down when we're ready. So just kind of lay that. And it'll slide a little bit once it's touching, but let's see, does that look straight, everybody? Okay, and then we're just gonna lay that down. And then you can take, did I bring in a burnishing tool? I feel like we have one right in here. I feel like we have literally a thousand laying around everywhere. Okay, if you don't have one, you can literally just run your finger over all these letters, especially these little middle pieces. We wanna make sure all of that is down, down, down really good. So just make sure all that's pressed super good. No bubbles. We don't want bubbles because it's gonna seep under our stencil and we just ain't about that. We do not want that to happen. Okay, and then you can peel off your uh, transfer tape. And I love this transfer tape because it comes off so easily. 
beautiful, beautiful. And just make sure you're careful with your letters. If your paint is wet when you apply your stencil for these projects, um, it's not gonna stick. Your stencil is not gonna stick. Mine is dry, um, but for some reason it's not wanting to stick great. Someone said uh, use parchment paper hack um, to align your vinyl. Yes, yes, we have done that before. I guess we just didn't really think about it today. I've never done that hack before, but I just, I literally just saw it like last week. And then I know that you guys had talked about it before, but I'd never seen yes. you do it. And I love that hack. That's literally genius. Okay. So whenever I did my first stencil, or whenever I did my first sign, I used a different, I used the mint colored masking. I'm sorry, the mint colored, uh, what do we call it, paint mask? And it was a lot better than this yellow. I don't love the yellow, but it'll get the job done, just not as quickly, if that makes sense. Because you have to make sure all this stuff stays stuck down. And the reason it's not super sticky is because it is stencil vinyl. Do you want um, me to grab you a burnishing tool? Would that help? Uh, maybe. You, get, you good? You want me to? I can grab one. Yeah. We will we'll, we'll use it for the other ones. have 1,000. <laughs> They're around. everywhere. They're like the plague in this place. They're everywhere. What's everybody saying? Sticky stencil material. Yes, it does. It's really good for staying in place while you're working on your project. Okay. Just be so careful. If you really, if you guys get on the 143, and I think I linked the mint vinyl because it's just so much better than this yellow, in my opinion. Um, you don't have to worry about your stencil coming up at all with it. Yeah, there we go. I love this font on the free. It's like my favorite font ever. And you just wanna make sure all of your bubbles are out. But I'm about to show you guys like the best trick ever for sign making. Beautiful, perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. We just wanna go through and make sure all this is laid down. This stencil is also very stretchy. So sometimes um, if you pull on it too hard, it will like stretch a little bit and you just kind of have to finagle it, Caitlin. Swear. Finagle. Finagle. Always gotta finagle. <laughs> and we're just gonna flatten this all out. You wanna make sure there's no little bubbles and you could take your brayer and do this. Y'all, I'm still new to like the, the, the Cricut tools, okay? I'm still new. I didn't know a brayer even existed for two, until hey, like. Hey, it's okay. I didn't either until I started working here. I'm obsessed. Yeah. I love this tool. Yes. It just like flattens everything out. Okay. So good quality stencil is first. First key is good quality stencil. Second thing that you want to do is, this is like the trick. This is the hack that we've been talking to you guys or that we've been hitting around about. So I'm going to take white paint, just plain old white paint, white chalk paint, preferably is the best. And we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna paint over top of the stencil. I sound, it sounds stupid, but just trust me. Um, this is just something that I do, that I practice, and I feel like it really, really makes your line super clean. You're just gonna paint right over top of it. Don't be scared. Just do it. And then we're gonna let that dry. So we're gonna do a section at a time. And then while we take off the other stencil, transfers, this is probably gonna be dry. So if this sign had a black background, just for example, you would be taking a black chalk paint and going over top of this with black. Right. Um, this is basically preventing any paint from leaking under your stencil. This is like the key to having a perfect line around your text. This and good stencil vinyl. I'm really unsure about this yellow. If you want me to be honest with the yellow you. stencil yeah because i've used it i used it one other time um but i really like the mint i'm i'm gonna stick to the mint it from kinda, here on out. like the the mint stencil vinyl that we use yeah. seemed a lot thicker kinda. it is Does thicker that make sense? yeah and okay. stencil vinyl tends to be a little bit thicker so it's just your personal preference really and what type of medium you use so Let's see, does anybody else do this? I'm really curious if anyone already knew to do this. 
because I made I've made signs for years and I just learned this probably like six months ago. And just be careful not to go outside of your stencil because, well, it won't really matter with the white, but if you were doing like another color, it would totally just get outside of your stencil. So you want to stay inside of this and you can go slower than me and just going really quickly. Let's see. I love my brayer. Just got my pin pin tool. Just learn what a pin pin tool was. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna scoot up. Can they see the stars, Sadie? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So we're just gonna repeat, and actually I'm gonna wait on the stars because I want them to be like right Center. in the middle. Yes, yes. So what I'm gonna do, this sign just keeps on moving. Are we centered? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. So we're just going to take the backer off very carefully. No more yellow stencils for us. Put it on my to-do list. Okay. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> it's not terrible. I'm just being dramatic. Okay. Peel this right off. Did anybody have, has everybody been with us this week? We did a two-hour live kick on off. National Craft Month kickoff. Yes. Um, was what, Tuesday? It was a it was a Monday Tuesday kind of thing. Yes. Um, it was Tuesday though, March first. Was our two-hour um, event? Was our two-hour kickoff event? So yes. It was so fun. I loved it. Let's see. Does anyone have any questions or anything? Um, I don't really. I there's mean, there's another some, Alicia. Like, Do you see her? Where? Oh, yes. And it's spelled the same way. That's how mine is spelled. And from Australia. I'm not that cool. cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. Let's see, Jillian, I bought five thing that feeds it. I bought thing I'm that feeds it. I missed the I comment bought, before yeah, hers. Okay, we're going to lay the stencil down. Lay it down. And then we're going to take our little squeegee. Or burnishing tool and just make sure it's stuck all the way down. Sue Spencer said she has an airbrush. You can do it with an airbrush if you're very careful. Well, that would be fun. Yeah. And actually, um, I was going to also tell you guys, if you want to replicate this sign exactly and you do go buy this exact sign, um, what I did was used this wood stain. This is the antique white wood stain. I stained the the base part of it, I did not stain the frame. I just stained the base part of it. And then I took the white paint and I just painted the entire border. But after the stain dried, I taped it off and then painted the border. So that way the white border like pops a little bit more. And you can see like, here, I'll hold this under. You guys can see how it's a little bit like an antique white here. And then it's more of a bright, a bright white. white. Yeah, which I really like I the contrast like of that. Yes. I love it. And you could distress this sign and it would be really cute. There's just so many totally different. Totally interchangeable. Yes. You could even do like a double sided sign, do like a Christmas and a fall or something. Oh yeah. Don't you think that would be cute? Yes. I'm gonna use one of these little, uh, whatchamacallits. What do you call it? Weeding tool? <laughs> If y'all were here the last one, I was calling brown blue. Um, I could not find my words. So just be really careful when you're pulling this up. It definitely does a lot better if you squeegee it down before. Okay. Uh-oh, we missed a... We didn't weed that on the H, which is fine. Technically, that's called what? Reverse weeding, Kaylin? Yes. Where you stick the transfer tape down and, and then it just weeds it. it for you? Yeah. I love that. Little hacky hacks all over the place. And actually, I see. I must have just got distracted here for a second. Is my H and my O. Okay. Let's 
the ladies get that. Yes, all the links for all of our supplies are in below. Below. If yes. you guys need, if you're questioning what kind of vinyl, it's literally everything we're using is down below. If there's something that's not, let us know and we will get you a link for it. Is everybody else like coming into spring or is it just East Tennessee? It literally feels know. like summer today. I it's it's warm in here like i was about to pop this door open honestly it I'm is like, like a thousand out. degrees <laughs> i'm warm I, i'm toasting i'm toasting it's like 70 degrees outside right now it's beautiful honestly what is the high for sunday here 74 70 yeah i was gonna say it was like 74 75 something like that that's Amazing. absolutely insane it's like heaven outside it literally i love is. it yes Me i too. wish it would stay this like year round we've been doing um daily walks here I think we started on Monday. Was it Monday? I, I, yes. I just wanted to go on a walk. I was like, anybody want to go on a walk? And everybody came with me. I was so happy. And so now we've started doing daily walks every day. And we just enjoy the weather. It's just for like literally five minutes. And it's so nice. It just feels good to kind of walk around and like get fresh air. Okay. That one's off. And my stencil's a little janky. We're going to fix it. I feel like a surgeon whenever I go up in here and do this. I feel like that yellow stencil maybe is a, well, like I said, it's a it's, lot thinner than the other. But, and I think you said earlier that it was stretchier, but it it seems a lot stretchier than what you used the first time. Oh, yeah. It is, definitely. It definitely is. And, like, with the stretchy, when it's stretchy like that, it's hard like if you stretch it out too much, you'll get bubbles and it's hard to get them to go away, which makes your letters like at risk, I guess, for bleeding. Like the bleed, the paint will bleed up under those bubbles if you don't lay it down flat enough. Sue said, yes, it's beautiful here in Michigan. It's 29 degrees out right now. Oh my gracious. 29 degrees. I would be froze to death. <laughs> I wonder when it, does it start getting summer? Let's see, Kentucky, it was in the 70s yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Kentucky's so close to us. They probably have really similar weather patterns. Okay, I have family in Colorado and I feel like it'd just be snowing all the time. Always snowing up there. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more white paint so that this can be drying while we work on the bottom stencil. And we're just gonna do the same thing that we did to the top. We're just gonna take our white paint. I don't know why that doesn't wanna stick down. Just take your white paint, trust the process. And you can also do this um, with Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a little bit more finicky. Um, you can do it though, it's clear. But like if you, if, you, if you were doing this on a stain sign, you would just use a brown paint that's similar to the color of the stain. So, you can use Mod Podge, but mm, I don't love it. I would uh, rather. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I think I would rather prefer paint. Yes, me yeah. too. I definitely do. So you don't want this super thick, just like a good even coat. And that should do it. And make sure you don't go outside your stencil. I know some people, I think the last live someone was saying that it's therapeutic to watch people paint, and I agree. I agree. Like, I'm sitting over here kind of yawning. <laughs> like I'm, and it's not because I'm tired. This is just very, like, relaxing to me. It should be relaxing. I feel like crafting should be relaxing. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's, it's not. It's stressful. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Can you see my sign? Yes. Okay, good. And then we're just, whoopsie. What was that? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do the bottom. Just <laughs> same thing. What? That was just, I don't know, that noise. I don't know what it was. Well, it was I have random. no idea. It came from the closet. I'm not <laughs> curious to find out. <laughs> Courtney can be the next one to open the closet. Who is? Cor I said Courtney. Courtney, you yes. signing Courtney up yep. for that? That's hilarious. Okay, let's see. I love the brushes you're using. I have many of those. They're so soft. Yes, and Sue, those brushes are horsehair brushes, so that's what I always try to get. They're always that orange horsehair 
I feel like it's the best ones. Another thing that this vinyl does that I'm noticing is it like sticks to the vinyl and tears up the backer. I don't know why it does that. That's just, we're not loving that. <laughs> Gwen said she would be broke if she had a swear jar in her craft room. <laughs> <laughs> Crafting can be very stressful. There are two types of crafters. Yes. <laughs> okay. So then you're gonna lay this down, just kind of center it, line it up. She also said, remember, chocolate makes everything better. Oh, that's I the agree. truth. I agree, I think that's why we have how many? Uh, uh, have... Angela put a, a chocolate <laughs> jar literally by one of the bathrooms. Every time I go into the kitchen, I'm yes. getting a piece of chocolate. Yes, we have chocolate everywhere here. And she don't put in like no wimpy chocolate. She puts in like oh, Carmelo. Hershey Kisses. Oh man, the good stuff. Good peanut stuff. m and m or she didn't have peanut m and but she's planning on putting peanut m and m's in there. I'm like, girl, you gotta stop. Mr. Good Bars? Yeah, what the heck? Like the bougie stuff. stuff. 78 in Texas right now. That's wonderful weather. It literally makes me feel so happy. Like that weather. It makes me want to just like go to the beach for a weekend. I, listen, Linda, I texted my husband before this live and I said, can we go to the beach for the weekend? Like soon. <laughs> Put me in your vehicle. I will volunteer myself to watch Ruby. I said, I said, can we go to the beach? And he said, when? And I was like, I don't know. A couple of weeks yeah. in the, on the weekend. We I don't need, care. I, vacation's good for the soul. I know. I just feel like the beach, like, I'm not a huge beach person. Sometimes you just need, like, that reset. I, uh, yes. And crafters understand what I'm saying when I say that. Yeah, sometimes you just need it. Yes. You need to take a break. So, this stencil, the reason I have this extra stencil, actually, um, our file for the stencil was not right before, so I recut it. So, you'll see a couple little, um, like, on this H, it kind of cut the corners off. That isn't fixed. Like, if you download this, it's going to be perfect. And yes, actually, it is fixed. I can show you because I want you to know that it is fixed. So, like this one, can they see that? Can y'all see? Okay, right here, it's fixed. And I think the Y, yeah, the Y is weird on this one, but it's totally fine here. So, um, we fixed that. So it's perfectly usable. Lynn just joined. Uh, she wants to know if this is reusable stencil. No, this is not. Um, you will see that as she paints all over it. Um, <laughs> but um, this is uh, from 143. Yeah. Right? Okay. 143. Yes. Uh, they call it paint mask or yes. stencil of vinyl. But you can use the Mylar. If you want to use, if you want reusable stencil, you can use the Mylar. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like we're on the last leg of the race, you guys. The last leg. We have 201 people with us today. This is a long That's, live. I did I not realize it was long. 225, you guys. Uh -huh. But this is like a really big sign. So, honestly, I feel like we're doing good considering. Yeah. And you know what? We're the hours to... fly by when we do lives. I'm yes, like, I'm honestly, like, they do. They really yeah. do. I didn't even realize. And remember, if you, just don't get the yellow. Just don't get the yellow stencil vinyl. Just don't do it. Take my word for it. Get the mint colored stencil vinyl from 143 and thank me later. It's okay, you're making the best of it. It's not terrible, it's just not ideal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. You Listen, can... if anyone has any questions, make sure that you put them in the comments so we can address those. Yeah. Um, also, don't forget, um, this is National Craft Month. We are offering a um, special, I guess you could say, on our um, membership. It is $30 off with the code MAKE at checkout. Um, so be sure to go check us out. Yes, and this is these were just released. These files were just released today. So we've got 16 new fonts. I didn't see how many uh, cut files 
excuse me, how many cut files that we have. Do you know how many? There's a bunch. The uh, new cut the files. The new cut files? Yeah. We, uh, there's quite a few. I'm going to say like uh, 20 or so. At least. Yeah. I would say at least 20 for sure. So lots of cute cut files. These are great for gifts. And I actually just saw um, someone say that they would do glitter for the stars. Mm. And now I'm feeling like yes. I should have done that. <laughs> Let's see, would the masking transfer tape work better? Um, this, I think this is masking transfer tape. The sister stuff, no, uh, no it is not. Oh, they're but talking about masking the... transfer tape. Um, I would say, okay, so if you want to use that, you could. However, masking transfer tape, um, you can't really, like it doesn't see, like you can't see all the way through that. Um, yeah. So if you want to go for like the eyeball and just be like, yeah, <laughs> sure. That looks good. Go for it. If not, then I feel like the scissor, um, easy weed transfer tape is very thick, uh, material, but not super sticky. And um, it's see-through. And it's see-through. Yeah. So when you lay, um, your vinyl down, you can see where it is going. Yeah. And you yeah. want to be able to see it for signs like this you really want to be able to see it. Yes, yes that way you're getting everything perfectly lined up okay so we'll go ahead and do this and i think earlier when i was talking about the 30 dollars off mm -hmm. um i think i said code make yeah it is code craft at checkout i'm sorry um 30 off our membership um with code craft C-R-A-F-T at checkout. And that's for the off the yearly? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the stars. Um, you are do the same thing with the stars. I think this is still... Oh, mm, that's pretty dry. We'll do the stars really fast. And then we will go ahead in with the actual colors. So we're going to put the stars on. And you can... Um, like if you wanted to, you could cut these stars out individually and like stagger them. Yeah, yeah, that would look really cute. I mean, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Whatever your heart desires. So, <clears throat> I'm just gonna line this up right here, and I'm at a weird angle, you guys. So I'm hoping that this is on there straight. I'm actually gonna trim this up just a smidge. Caitlin, are you burning up? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I have no lie to tell. I thought about being Tanner and Lauren. Um, I came in here the other day and they had this door cracked. And yes. I was like, and you know, normally that's kind of like, um, no, like a sin. Maybe. We can, we can <laughs> use that word very lightly. Um, but we don't like to have like outside noises or the air conditioner's completely off when we're filming. So y'all may be enjoying and we are too, but we may secretly be sweating to death. And that's okay. <laughs> Low key sweating yeah. is so yeah. bad. Okay, let's put these on. Um, all right, and then I'm just gonna burnish these down. Now, whenever you do this masking technique um, with the paint, like whenever we paint the white over this, do not use a glossy paint and do not apply heat. Um, if you use a chalk paint and you apply heat, it's not that big of a deal. If you use a gloss paint and you get a blow dryer or a heat gun on here and try to peel it up, it's gonna destroy your letters. Yes. I'm just here to tell you. It's gonna mess up your letters. It gets stretchy. The paint has like latex in it and it stretches out and it'll peel your letters all the way off. Um, oh, we gotta take off our masking, off our stars. And we'll paint those white. And if you just go in willy nilly, like if you wanted to paint these stars blue, and you just went in with your blue and you didn't do this masking, that blue is gonna seep up under your stencil and your stars are gonna be all janky and they're gonna be all like. You're not gonna have that smooth, like crisp edge yeah, so whenever like you peel off crispy. your stencil. Yeah. Um, you're gonna have like a very like blobby kind of star. Yes, it'll so. blob, it will like run down. Yes, yes. Where did I put my little, oh, here it is, here it is. I didn't leave myself an edge to pull up this uh, transfer tape. <laughs> okay. Um, Carrie um, Mitchell, make sure, um, I'll tag you in this, but make sure that you contact our um, uh, 
customer care team and they will get that taken care of for you. What did uh, Gwen said? Horses sweat, men perspire, and women glow. Yes, Gwen. Yes, I love that. I'm gonna put that on a sign. Okay. So peel, peel, peel. Get our white paint on there. I think I need a little bit more. Does anybody have any questions so far, like on why we, while we're doing something, while we're not doing something? Patty would paint three sections and then put the stars on. That would work. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. That's what I like about crafting. There's not, a, there's, there's a really not a lot no. of rules. Right. And just be careful when you cut the, if you cut these stars out that you're not painting outside of your stencil. I am a messy painter. So if I get outside of the stencil, don't come for me. Okay. Look, I just did it after I said that. Um, someone asked if this design is available to download as one design. Yes, it is. Whenever you go into our Makers Gonna Learn website for cut files, um, this is just one simple cut file um, that you can break up yourself into design space. Yes. Let's see. Sue's been a yearly member for two years. That's impressive. That's awesome. So Sue knows about the Facebook group, I'm sure then. The Facebook group is the, where it's at. That's where you can see everybody and you can interact with all the other members. You can see projects that we've done in the past and that other people have done. Okay, while those stars dry, we're gonna go ahead and put our red paint on. And I'm actually not gonna use a plate. I'm just gonna use, this is our Starcraft chalk and mineral paint in red. And I'm just going to open this up and go right in. Let me move all this stuff over here. I'm probably going to end up knocking that, <laughs> knocking that off the table. Okay. It'll be okay. So this is red and the bottom is red and this is blue and the stars are gray. So I'm going to open this up and we're just going to get that right to it. That is such like a 4th of July red. Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly. Doesn't it make you like excited yes. for summer? And then you're just going to go in. Now, if you don't feel comfortable just like painting it on there, you can use a makeup sponge to do this. This sign is gigantic, so it's going to take you a long time, but it'll make your lines look really clean. I'm like worried about this stencil vinyl, you guys, but we're going to keep going. I'm really worried. I want it to look, because the other one we did, we used the other vinyl, and I really, really loved it. It's like perfect. Perfect, perfect every time. And then you just have to watch for your, where your little bubbles are at if you have any. If you're using the mint stencil vinyl, you're not gonna have any because it's really good. I have a hair. <laughs> I had a hair hanging out of my brush. And you don't need a whole like ton of paint, just like a good, decent coat. And really make sure you're not going outside of your stencil for this part because it will get onto your white as well. And a lot of people that do signs are like really scared to brush on paint, but you know, it's fine. If you seal it in, and you let it dry, it's gonna be fine. You know, I know it's only five minutes after our one hour mark, but we still have 223 people with us today. Thank you for that. Yeah, thanks for That's hanging awesome. out. Yeah, thank you guys. I love that. Here for the therapeutic paint ASMR. What's the reason we're painting white first? Jacqueline asks. The reason we paint white first is because if we just went in with the color, it would seep under our stencil. If you go in with the base color, so like if this were a black sign and we painted black and we painted the base black, put the stencil on, you would want to do black over top of your stencil. That way, um, it's kind of like a sealant. Yeah, so like if any of this white, if any of the white paint seeps under it, you're not going to be able to see it. Right. Because it's, because the base is white. So that's why you want to use whatever color your base is. It's not necessarily always going to be white paint. 
it's going to be whatever color your base is. I'm going to go ahead and just do the second coat on these. This chalk paint dries just incredibly fast is why I'm going ahead on the second coat. But you never want to go on for your second coat if your paint is still really wet. This chalk paint is like drying super fast. So I'm going to scoop this up and do the bottom. Can you see? Is my big head blocking it? Sometimes I... Can you see everything? Okay. So our white paint's dry down here. We're just going to do the same thing. What's everybody saying, Caitlin? Nothing really. They're just watching? Yeah. Just Oops. hanging out. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that no, there. No, you're fine. We painted this one last, so my paint, my white paint is um, a little wet on the stencil. It's not wet on the words. So just be really careful whenever you're doing that. I'm going to actually let that dry and we'll work on our blue in the meantime because I know that my middle one is already dry. So for our blue, we're going to be using chalk and mineral paint by Starcraft in Navy. This is like this red and blue is seriously true 4th of July. Yes. The truest. Someone did mention instead of doing stars to do tiny little fireworks. <gasps> that would be uh -uh, perfect. That would be so yes. cute. I would love that. Or like um, like little firecrackers. Yes. Wouldn't that be that cute? That would be really cute. You could totally, like, this is so interchangeable. You guys could do whatever you wanted to do with it. Yeah. If you can build, how cute would it be to build the sign, the shape of a big, like, dynamite or like a firecracker yes. shape? Like with the little, yes. you know what I'm talking about? I think that would be so cute. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put our blue on here. Just a good thin coat all over. This blue, blues and oranges, I feel like, tend to be a little bit streaky. So you typically have to do at least two coats. So our blue is like trying to be streaky right now. Do you guys do anything for the 4th of July? Do you guys um, like celebrate in a certain way? Yeah. Um, typically, if it's not hanging out with family at like a family's house, then they're coming to my house because we have a big pool. So <gasps> You have just, a pool at your house? Yes, <gasps> yes, yes. Mm, that's good to know. just come over and cook out and just have fun. That's fun. Oh, my gosh. I love it. We do. My family has river property, so... Oh, yeah. We hang out on the river and we like cook out and everybody comes and we, I don't know what has happened, but like my dad and my husband and cousins, they get really into the fireworks show. Yes. Like they go All of hard. the boys, I say boys in quotes because whenever you get fireworks out, there's no more men around. They're boys. They're oh my gosh, boys. that is the truest thing um, I've ever heard in my life. So <laughs> whenever uh, we get fireworks out and we do a big fireworks show, all of the men turn into boys yep. and just have literally a like a field day. They're like pyromaniacs. Yes. It's crazy. We're I trying to it. see who we can take the lighter from next, you know? Yes. Like, okay, <laughs> we're done, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Trey, we don't even get to watch fireworks romantic anymore oh, no. because you're, like, so involved yes. in the fireworks show. That's exactly how Gunnery is. He, I mean, they're all just, all of the men are just one of the kids that day. Yep. Okay, chalk and mineral paint in gray. We're going to do that on our stars, and they are dry. These are dry. Those are not, so we're not going to do those yet. But I'm going to take a little bit smaller brush. This is just a horsehair brush. I'm just taking a little bit smaller one and going to go ahead and paint these gray. And just be super careful not to go outside of your stencil. You just want a good, thin, even coat on these. I kind of like to get the paint on there and then sort of brush it in the same direction just so it looks just so smoother. Just so it's shown, Yeah. So do you guys go on a lake? Are you guys lake people, Caitlin? Or pool people? Uh, 
Well, back before Gunnar sold his boat, we were lake people. But now we're just pool people. We're pool people. <laughs> <laughs> we're like river people. When I was growing up, we spent summers on the lake almost every year. Oh, yeah, for Like sure. all summer on the lake. Well, it's just, it's convenient to us. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. it's and just right here. Here where we're at, we're right. around a lot of lakes. We don't have oceans. We have lakes. Okay. Is this dry? You can kind of see in the light if it's dry or not. Let's see. I love how the letters are coming through on the red paint so you can so see you can if they're see. all covered. Yes. Yes, me too. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to put the rest of this red on here. Don't do that. <laughs> Be careful when you pick your paint up that you scrape it on the edge. Should we just go ahead and pull up so everybody can see? Because I want you guys to be able to see it even if it's not finished. Even if you don't see this one finished, I can show you the other one finished. Because how, how long are we going right now? We are at 243 right now. So we're about 15 minutes over. I don't know why my paint is dripping. This sign though, like did I not spend like four hours making yes, this sign? Yes. The first day that I made it, I think it took me around four, four and a half hours just to like get it all prepared and stuff. So this is a little bit of a lengthier sign to make, but worth it if you're asking me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull up, start pulling up our stencil. We're going to let those stars dry just a little more and I'm going to do a second coat on the blue, but I am going to pull up this red. And you can do um, another coat if you want it really solid. The other one, I only did one coat because I like it because it looks a little bit rustic. And you guys can already see, look how crispy. Is that not so satisfying? The yellow peels up well. It is peeling up really well. Maybe I'm glad you just have a hard time going down. Like it just has a hard time like going down. Yes, it doesn't want to stay down. Right. The only thing that I'm worried about with this yellow is that where it bubbled, I'm worried that, that it, it leaked my paint. through? Ugh, maybe not. Oh, just on one. But that looks pretty good. I'm like taking up the entire paint table right now. That's okay. Can they see it there? Hold on, I'm going to scooch this paint out of the way. I get the gist of it too. All right, can you guys see that? Yes. MT Redeker is coming over for the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, everybody. Okay, and then you can just take your weeding tool and pull this up. I don't like to wait until it's completely dry. I like to kind of take out, take all the stencil while it's like partially dry, but not like soaking wet either, if that makes sense. I just feel like if it dries all the way, it can like mess up your paint. You just have to be very careful not to get any of your paint on your backer. That's why I keep touching the end of my weeding tool because if I touch that red paint and it's wet. Right, you're wanting to get it off of yeah, the weeding tool. I just wipe it off. Yeah. Let's see, there's lots of little middles of these, but you guys can see how clean. It looks so clean, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and we're just going to keep peeling this off. This is the most satisfying part to me of the sun. Is weeding? Yes. Yes. I like really actually like it. And you can, you guys can't really see it. I can see where I did the white first and that yellow, where the yellow um, stencil kind of bubbled up, I can see where the white seeped under. And But because we did that white and we let it dry and then went in with the red, you the red didn't the red. seep under. Yep. Right. And if we would have just went in with the red, it would be all over Everywhere. the place. Yep, but it, we didn't. And so it looks really good and clean, which I'm super excited about. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about that stencil vinyl. So we know that this can get the job done, that vinyl can get the job done. Not without worrying the heck out of us first though. <laughs> okay. Let 
What do you guys think? They're, the, um, they're loving it. Are like, they yes, loving it? it not, it's nice. It looks really great so far. Yay. Good Deborah, job. I think this is real magic. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's continue. Oops, I just touched that. Okay. I need to like make some room here. Let's go ahead and put a second coat of blue on and then we will peel off the red. And also I need to paint the gray on the stars. And so if you guys put this outside, if you do make this sign and you put it outside, um, you can put like a spray sealant on it. Um, I'm trying to think of the brands. I'm sure, I know that like Krylon that they sell at Home Depot and Lowe's has a sealant you can do. Um, but just make sure it says like outdoor sealant on the label. There's not really one in particular I would recommend just as long as it says outdoor, like for outdoor use or something along those lines. And also if you wanted to do this after it completely dries, you could take a sanding block and go over this and t really distress the entire thing. We're not going to distress it today, but I think it would be really cute if you guys do recreate this and you do distress it. Please send us a picture. I would really love to see what it looks like distressed. Okay, so we'll let that sit and dry. I'm going to go ahead and do my gray stars so they can also be drying. And then we will peel off our bottom part. I must have just gooped on that. <laughs> that first star is like super thick with white paint. So it's not wanting to dry. No. no. And they are made that way. Yeah. So I think because it's like more of like a retro font, they didn't have middles because Lauren was asking me that. If it bothers you, you can take white paint and like a small paintbrush and it's add like, in. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend. I think it's supposed to look more. Vintage. This is like watching Bob Ross today. Oh, well. <laughs> I love it. You guys know I love Bob Ross. Right. I have a Bob Ross bobblehead on my desk out there. I love it. Okay. Happy little stars. We're paying happy little stars. That's what Bob Ross would say. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and peel off this red. I see one little spot that's bothering me that I want to paint. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Nope. Okay. I'm just going to take my weeding tool and get under there and pull this up. Yeah, this comes off really well. This vinyl does. I still don't I still don't recommend it over over the mint vinyl. I feel like this works, but just not as great as I want it to. Okay. Throw that away. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not going to weed out the centers of those just because we're like really over on time. Pull these up. Our little stars. Like I said, you don't have to wait until it dries to pull them up. You can just pull it up while it's still drying. Will you pull it closer into you real quick? Yeah. So people can see what you're doing. There you go. Sorry, thank you for telling me because I can't notice sometimes just be super careful if your stencil breaks that's totally fine but if your paint is wet just be super careful that it doesn't snap back on your board board right. and like splash paint everywhere but this if you're using stencil vinyl it won't stick super hard so it comes up pretty good and smooth okay that blue came out really clean mm -hmm. I'm scared to weed it because it's like super wet. OK. 
Can you guys see this if I weed right here? Okay. And also, sometimes it's easy to get lost like when you're weeding. If you need to pull up the picture on our on Makers Gonna Learn website, you can pull it up and look at it to reference as you weed. Because I have a lot of times people will say, oh, I'm having issues. Like I can't see the middles of the letters and they'll dig and dig and dig into their sign. Right. And I'm like, there's not even a, there's not even a middle there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially with letters like that F and the R when there's not a middle. I missed a couple of edges, but that's totally my fault. It's because I'm in a hurry. Jacqueline, one of the stars looks off. It's um, my fault. <laughs> it's because I didn't paint the gray to the edge of the star because I was in a hurry. It's okay. We can show them the one that we already had done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll show them. Okay, so I'm going to sit this one back here. I'm just going to sit it right there off to the center. And then if we can go to one, I'll show you guys. This is like the finished the product. Finished. This is what it'll look like after it's dry. So super cute. If you missed the beginning, this is what the whole sign looks like. It's really big. What did we say? 12 by 48? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So, so like right at four-ish foot tall, yeah, maybe? Yeah, very big. Yeah. So I'm going to sit this here, and then we, I'm going to go over to Caitlin. Move my mat. to chat for a second. We can chat for like uno momento. Does anyone have any questions? If you do, pop them in the comments real quick. We are about to hop off in about two minutes. Yeah. So sorry we ran over so long. That sign is just so I, big. Listen, we still have two of four watching. Oh, okay. Like, we have you held. Guys are here for it. Yeah, we've held our numbers, and I'm very, very, very thankful for that. Yeah. So. Someone's asking, um, can you use repositional vinyl? I have, is that like not permanent vinyl? I haven't used that before. I don't know that I've I'm thinking used that, that he, they're talking about mylar stencil. Possibly. Um, and if so, yes, you yes, can. Yes, you can. And just you tape can. it, right? Mm -hmm. yep. okay. Yeah, just tape it. But you could totally use that. We'll see what everyone's. Um, I don't know questions yet. Okay, well. It was fun. Um, yeah, Good we times. really hope you enjoyed um, our craft today. Thank you guys mm -hmm. so much for watching. Um, be sure to join our page, our Makers Gonna Learn um, membership page. Yes. Um, $30 off right with code CRAFT, not mm -hmm. MAKE. I'm so sorry <laughs> for the confusion earlier. Yes. Um, we're gonna have Miss Sadie drop that link for you right quick. Mm -hmm. um, and it is down below. So make sure that you go subscribe to us, like us, and all that good jazz. And we'll see y'all <sighs> next Back week, next I guess. Um, yeah, because I don't think we're, we're this tomorrow. Is it? Tanner may do one tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not for yeah, sure. Yeah. He may. Possibly. Um, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> well, All right. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys.